Milieu control. Information and environment are tightly controlled. Gossip, questioning, and criticism is tightly regulated, as is access to outside information, especially that which may raise doubts or be critical of the group. So people will describe either you are given specific propaganda material by an organization. Jehovah's Witnesses are popular for this, where they publish so much crap, you're only supposed to read their stuff, and anything else is considered unsafe. So they may not say that you don't want to read it, but they'll warn you about the dangers of being corrupted by Satan and his influence in the wider media. And so people police themselves on it. Was there any form of milieu control that you experienced in the trans yeah. rights community? And the one that I'm thinking of, I have one example again that I'm going to bring up is again, JK Rowling. Hmm. And this is just an example from how I experienced it. A lot of people will respond to the accusations that she was being transphobic by asking, what did she say specifically that was transphobic? And most people can't point out specifically what it is. And another part of this is that because everyone is warning you that it's transphobic, I don't think most people actually read what she wrote. She put out that long sort of essay thing and I never read it. I didn't read it until after I detransitioned, oh. but I had no problem talking about how terrible she was and like posting all of these articles. It was basically, I let other people read the material for me and then tell me how I was supposed to think about it and how I was supposed to interpret it. And that happened a lot. There was quite a lot of, these people are not credible. These people are transphobic. You shouldn't be listening to these specific people. And instead, we're gonna look at all of this for you and we're gonna t interpret it for you and tell you what it actually says. And there, I've seen quite a, quite a bit of that. And I've seen quite a bit of it since detransitioning, watching people that I've become friends with have their words twisted and how other people have been, it's a, again, public shaming. But if you tell any of these people to read the source material, mm -hmm. then they just don't want to. But yeah. Now I can relate to there being a sense of dread and fear of reading the source material because I was told that in the believing frame, in the religious paradigm that I was growing up in, that all of these critics would lie and deceive and manipulate and Satan was behind it. So if I read it, I was exposing myself to manipulation that was going to grab a hold of my faith and rip it out of me. And I would be a victim to having read this source material. And so it, there was a reason to protect my faith that would keep me from even wanting to read that source material, but I could read a faithful person who could reassure me and explain and give me selected arguments based on what those things were. And so when I heard criticisms of Joseph Smith's polygamy, I would just only hear the easy to defend or distorted criticisms from the faithful. I wouldn't actually go and see what actually happened. And that shielded me from it, but I was happy to do that because there was this fear about being deceived that I have. Other people have described that they did have doubts and they were afraid that if they gave any space to read the source material that it might grow those doubts but there was so much that they only saw as good in the community they didn't want to lose their faith or lose their belief and have all the problems that they saw other people have with it any of these things take were a part of your experience yeah they were. For whatever reason, I'm still thinking about JK Rowling, but I'm thinking of people did like whole video essays about why whatever she said was wrong, but they mm -hmm. still can't, they can't quote her. They still can't quote her directly and say, this is exactly what was wrong. They can only just be like, here's a video, educate yourself sort of thing. Is any of that from the idea that if you quote her words directly, you're platforming hate, or is that just a, a kind of one of those excuses that's tossed out? to justify why you don't need to quote it. I'm not sure why they don't necessarily go straight to the material besides some kind of fear, fear that they might be wrong if they actually read it. When you were talking about the hesitance to read any of the source material, it reminded me of that same week that I detransitioned, I read a really long essay about all of the cult-like aspects in trans rights activism. So the, that very same week and it did feel like I was reading something that was forbidden. So 
I, I remember you discussing that in one of your other interviews. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the name of that document? Yep. It's newthoughtcrime.com. Hmm. And it, it's Go written ahead. by, I think she's a desisted woman. So she didn't medically transition, but identified as trans for a while. And then when, as she came out, she wrote that and it was, it's written from some of the feminist perspective. So it might not be like universally applicable to every single person that reads it, but at any rate, she was pointing out all of these dynamics that I had definitely seen over and over, but never had either the words to talk about it or yeah. the ability to say, actually, this was abusive and it should have never happened in the first place. But yeah. All right. So milieu control in terms of both restricting people's access to information, as well as casting a spell of fear and doubt about any outside information. How strong did this play a role? Severe. Okay. Propaganda saturation. Members are compelled to consume overwhelming amounts of group generated media. And the overwhelming amount of media fills the available time and mental capacity of the members. Group media is propagandistic in nature, manipulative, one-sided, and deceptive. There's just so much to consume that you don't have time to read anything critical. Yeah, I don't know if that really applies in this case. I'm not sure. It does remind yeah. me of all of the science, for example. So it's not, I know this isn't really, it's not really that they've told us to do all, read all the science, but it reminds me of that sort of feeling that people tell you that the science is settled and so on, but because there is so much of it, then you have to read all of it and you have to go through all of it and you have to understand all of it. And people just don't because there's so much yeah. of it. So it reminds me of that, but at the same time, that's not really propaganda. Well, you just fall back on trust the experts, which sometimes it's hard to distinguish between trust the activists and activists aren't really in the realm of truth telling they're in the realm of ag advocating for their particular perspective so it's hard to tell what do you rate this then i think mild all right